you know, it's interesting. I was reading about usury. Mm -hmm. You know that word, usury? It's not that often used, but... It's biblical. It, it's biblical, right. And it's, inter it's interesting. Almost every philosopher, including all the religious leaders in history, have spoken out against this. I mean, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, Buddha, not to mention Plato, Aristotle, everybody in history has said this is one thing people really shouldn't do to each other, charge ridiculous rates, but somehow this country got to a place where we're doing that to each other. You know, it really is important to note our history, uh, colonial America, throughout our history, we had strong usury laws in place until 1979, and we just very quietly changed a law, interpretation by the United States Supreme Court on a ambiguous right. statute, and the whole game came unraveled from that point. It had to be, something was bound to happen, something had to lift the strain, something had to give. Walls were thin, they could not protect us. We never paid attention. Now it's turn to this to happen. Something was bound to happen. You wonder. Something was bound to happen. They kept saying no, no, no to Glass-Steagall. They raised all kinds of objections to it. And they kept hammering away at it because they wanted to be able to get access to those deposits in order to fuel more speculative trading. And what this says is no, we can't do that. Senator, I, I will push back. Shouldn't we just tell the American consumer that no matter what we do, there will be bank boom and bust cycles, no matter what the laws and regulations. You can't protect everything. No, that is just wrong. Why? Look at the history. From 1797 to 1933, the American banking system crashed about every 15 years. In 1933, we put good reforms in place for which Glass-Steagall was the centerpiece. And from 1933 to the early 1980s, that's a 50-year period, we didn't have any of that as we started deregulating. You start hitting the SNL crisis, and what did we do? We deregulated some more. And then we hit the big crash in 2008. You are not going to defend the proposition that regulation can never work. With all due respect, Senator, every report I've read, every person I've spoken to says that there's a very, very, very slim chance of this, of this even passing. Well, Glass-Steagall would not have prevented the financial crisis. Not You're all by itself. That's absolutely right. But what Glass-Steagall can do is it can wind some more of the risk out of the system. It can help bring down the size of the largest banking institutions.